on guys it's Wispin here and I am back with another video and I actually am going to start this video off by battling this Aegislash but before we do that I kind of want to let you guys know a little bit about the server so currently we are actually maxing out at 120 players pretty much all day long now it is a weekend so it's hard to say if during the weekdays we're actually gonna hit 120 every day but a lot of people have been messaging me asking me to up the slots on the server and I just kind of want to get this out of the way so that you guys Oh, I thought he despawned. I was about to freak out. I was like, no. But yeah, so a lot of people have been asking me. And the thing is, if we up the slots on the server, the server is going to lag a lot more than it already does. We have actually gone ahead and at the moment fixed most of the lag issues. It doesn't seem to really be having too much lag. And the crashes have been good for the last like day or so. Uh, although we were having issues a couple days ago. So it's hard to tell if everything is resolved. But as for the player cap, we can't lift it. If you guys do want to join when the server is full, you can buy pro rank. It is $10. $10 is a lot for a lot of people, so you can try to just spam connect. And we do have restarts every two hours, which will empty out the server, so you'll be able to try to connect during that because there will be 120 empty slots. But if you guys do have the $10 to spend on the rank and you do want to join the server when it's full, make sure to go ahead and do that. All the money goes towards supporting the server and allows us to get some pretty cool new updates, which we have a lot of really cool updates that I think you guys are going to enjoy coming down the pipeline pretty soon. Uh, but with that being said, if you guys do want to join the server, the IP is pokecentral.org. There's a link down in the description to a tutorial on how you can actually install the correct version of Pixelmon for the server. And with that, let's go ahead and get into battle with this Aegislash before he despawns. So the first thing I'm going to do is throw out my Cresslia. I don't actually know if, if Cresslia has any good moves to fight Aegislash, but... I don't want to one-shot it, and I feel like I'm going to one-shot it here. Oh, that's going to one-shot it, isn't it? I'm level 70. It's only 45. Okay. Oh, no. It was not very effective. Okay, we're good. What about Psycho Shift? Is that going to do a little more? I don't actually know what Psycho Shift does. Uh, it keeps failing, so maybe it can't affect Age Slash. Let's just keep whittling down its health with Aurora Beam, and we'll try to get it as low as possible. I'm still going to switch over to Scyther. Scyther. Why, why did I say Scyther? Scyther is another Pokemon that can learn False Swipe, but we don't have a Scyther. We have a, a Glade. So I'm going to switch over to Glade and try to put it to sleep here in a second once we get it down to red, and we can try to catch this guy. Level 45. That would be a pretty cool addition to our team. All right, let's try that. Oh, our Cresslia fainted. Wow, okay. So we'll switch over to Glade, and we'll use Hypnosis. He avoided the attack, and he one-shot me. Oh no, we really need to level up our Glade. Once we get him to level 100, he is going to be the best possible Pokemon. But right now he's only 44, which makes it kind of hard to use him. Uh, Alright, Quick Attack. Oh, does that not affect him? Because it's, yep, normal type. Alright, let's try Gust. We're just going to go for it. I waited way too long because I wanted to try to catch him at night. Because then we could have used the Dusk Ball. So I probably should have started this video off with catching Aegislash. But either way, hopefully we can still get him here. And there we go. Okay, so we got him. It took quite a few Ultra Balls, not too many, about six, I think. And we finally caught the Aegislash. So let me go ahead and take him out of the PC, level 45. And we'll replace, I guess, Pidgeot. We don't really need him right now. So we'll replace Pidgeot for now. Uh, we definitely need to get our Charmeleon up to a Charizard. And then we can actually replace him as our flying Pokemon. Uh, the reason I got the Pidgeot, well, I don't really know why I got the Pidgeot. I guess I kind of forgot that Charizard could even fly and you could ride him. We have these keys. So the last video got over 200 likes on it. So we get two rare keys to open up during this video. And of course, we have our Vote Crate keys from just voting every single day, which I really like to do. And if you guys do want these keys, they are pretty handy. So definitely make sure to check that out you can do slash vote oh we got a choice band okay that's new uh actually we might already got one i'm not sure uh we got another exp share which is always helpful did we get that from the crate yeah we did okay and a reaper cloth a second one uh so we got a lot of held items there and then just some rare candies wait we want a master ball that's a one percent chance we just wanted we just got a master ball out of the vote crate Okay, that's crazy. I didn't even notice. I was like freaking out. I was like, oh, a choice band. That's so cool. But no, we got a master ball. That is that is amazing. All right, let's see if these rare keys can live up to those vote crate keys because those were pretty good. We could get some pretty cool legendaries. I really do like Articuno, Zapdos. I really, really like Raikou. Um, I'm not not a big fan of the river Pokemon, but they're still, they're still all right. And then we can, of course, get a bunch of different stuff up here in the top row. Let's go ahead and open these up and see what we're going to get. 
I'm kind of hoping that we get a legendary just because the other rewards in here we've kind of already got. We've already got random shinies. We've already got money. We've already got rare candy. Although rare candies would be helpful. Uh, we already have master balls. So let's see. What are we going to get? Ooh, a shiny misprint. Okay, we got 30 rare candies. That's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. I think that'll be really helpful since I did go ahead and waste all of my rare candies on my Gallade. Uh, I probably should just waste these 33 on him as well. You know, why not? All right, let's see. What are we... Oh, Raikou. Aw, oh, darn. All right. <laughs> Looks like we're going to be getting some more rare candies. That's fine. You know what? I'll take it. We got 63 rare candies out of that. And actually, let's just put them in my Ender Chest so I'm not tempted to waste them all on another Pokemon. Uh, and speaking of which, let me grab my Poke Kibble for today. Just in case we forget to do it at some point in the future, we can have some saved up. So one of the challenges here on the server that a lot of people, I don't think, even really know about it because it's kind of hidden. I mean, it's not too hidden. The gate for spawn is right there. So this is the spawn castle. And right here on this rock is uh, Red. So if you've ever played the official Pokemon games, you know that Red is someone that has really powerful Pokemon and you battle him near the end of the game. I haven't played the Pokemon games in forever, but this NPC right here basically has Red's team and you can go ahead and challenge him in game. He is an ultimate boss, which means he's gonna be pretty hard to defeat, but you get, I think, 10,000? Here, one second, let me go warp info, it actually says. Uh, you get 6,000 for defeating him, but if you use an amulet coin, you'll actually get 12,000. So that's a pretty good deal. If you guys can actually take him out, you can only battle him once. Uh, you can battle him unlimited times, you can only beat him once. So you can go ahead and try it anytime you want. He does scale with your level, he's always going to be 40 levels above your highest level Pokemon, which is kind of insane. So if you guys can beat him, that is a pretty good accomplishment. I think we're going to go ahead and try to battle some of these NPCs on the path. I don't think we're quite ready to battle Red yet, but we can try out some of these other NPCs that are a little bit easier. In order to make this uh, the easiest possible, I want to get rid of Cressley because Cressley is level 70, a lot higher level than the rest of my Pokemon here. And we probably should pick up, could use Arceus, but I eh, I don't really want to use Arceus just yet. Maybe, let's see, oh, let's put Beldum on our team. Let's put Beldum on our team, yeah, we'll, we'll try to level up our Beldum. So we'll put our EXP share on Beldum, and we'll put it on our Charmeleon, and then actually we'll put it on our, our Eevee here, because Eevee's level 1, and we need to level up our Eevee as well. Getting a Jolteon would be really cool to do today. Actually, a Jolteon, huh. So a lot of people were saying I should get Sylveon, which I understand. It's one of the newest additions to uh, Pixelmon. It would be pretty cool, but I feel like this Eevee doesn't really suit Sylveon very well. Sylveon is pretty slow, and this is a timid Eevee, so it has really high speed. So I'm kind of thinking either Jolteon or Espeon would be best. And the reason I'm kind of leaning towards Espeon is because... Uh, if we go ahead and check its IVs real quick, it only has 29 speed IVs, and I know that is really high, but normally when you get a Jolteon, you really want it to have 31 speed IVs just so that you guarantee that you outspeed or at least have the same speed as any other Jolteon that you're battling. Uh, so I guess it really doesn't matter too much, and all of the new models for the EVs have been added to the game. So we could just go for a Jolteon. I don't know. I haven't fully decided yet. We'll go ahead and battle this NPC, and while we're battling it, I'll think about it, and I'll figure it out. So let's go ahead and just take it out as fast as we can here. I think it should be fairly easy, and we can get some levels on our Pokemon. Uh, and Beldum actually just gained a ton of levels out of that, which is pretty cool. And that was just one Pokemon down. All right, and there we go. We got a bunch more levels. Baby Doll Eyes. The user stares at the target with its Baby Doll Eyes, which lowers the attack stat. Well, which lowers its attack stat. This move always goes first. Okay, you know what? That's not a terrible move. I don't think we're going to keep it on our uh, EV for too long, but we can go ahead and try it out. And there is an Ekans that doesn't want to die in one shot. There we go. We beat him. And we got some money out of that. So, ooh. Oh, Eevee is evolving. No, I don't I don't want that. Why are you evolving? What, what would Eevee evolve into right now? Uh, its happiness is only 70. Oh, because it knows baby doll eyes. It was evolving into Sylveon, I assume. You know what? Let's do it. Let's let's try one more time. And if it evolves again in this battle, uh, we'll just go ahead and go for it. You know, it doesn't really matter. We can always get another Eevee, and we have some changes in the future. If you guys don't remember, we had uh, nature tokens and shiny tokens and all kinds of things that used to be on the server, size tokens that we removed. We are coming up with a replacement pretty soon, and it's going to be available for everyone. So those tokens used to be only obtainable through crates, 
and through uh, just purchase them, purchasing them directly on the store. And so this new system that we're coming up with will allow you guys to grind out in-game to go ahead and make those changes for your Pokemon. Not going to get into it too much because I'm not sure when it's going to be coming out, but just keep that in mind that it might be a possibility sometime in the near future. All right, let's see. Can we get this NPC taken out? I think they only have three Pokemon. Uh, I'm not going to learn any moves because I'm not actually entirely sure why it started to evolve into Sylveon. I don't really know the method, so I'm just going to leave the EV as it is, and hopefully it'll evolve again. And will it evolve? Yes, okay, so we're going to get ourselves a, a Sylveon, and it's a 98% IV Sylveon, so I don't think the nature is exactly perfect, but it is pretty close to a perfect Sylveon, which is kind of insane, and we definitely need to try to EV train it. All right, there we go. Let's take a look at the Sylveon. I think it's a pretty cool addition to our team. Oh, it's actually kind of tiny. So we might want to maybe get it a little bit larger. I feel like I would... What size is it? It is a pygmy. Okay, I feel like I would like at least ordinary, maybe even a little bit larger. So it feels like, you know... I, I don't know. I actually do per like small Pokemon quite a bit. So this is kind of cool. So those NPCs were actually about the easiest NPCs here on the server. So I want to head down this way and challenge a little bit of a harder NPC. So it's an uncommon boss. I think that means it's going to be five levels above my highest level. So we should still be able to take it out, hopefully. We'll see how this goes. Uh, let's tire off with our Glade and we'll use Hypnosis to put him to sleep. Yeah, it looks like five levels above our highest. Hypnosis, Hypnosis is not a very good move. I have noticed that. It doesn't work a lot of the time. And then we'll just go with Magical Leaf. That's super effective against Geodude. Should be able to take him out. And there we go. Gaining some experience on all our Pokemon. Let's go with the Hypnosis again. He avoided the attack. See, every time it feels like it feels like Hypnosis is just an awful move. Maybe I need to figure that out. Figure out how to use it better because it is not working out all that well. All right, let's see. Magical Leaf, not very effective. Let's try Psychic. Oh, that didn't do too much. All right, there we go. We should be able to take him out as well. And we still have our our entire team left. Oh, okay, a Ghastly. Now, Ghastly should be fairly easy to take out. And he fell asleep on the first try. Okay, cool. And we got Psychic. There we go. Okay, so we took him out first try. Okay, that wasn't too much of a challenge. It looks like we did pretty good. Uh, Glade is a really, really good Pokemon that we have here. So, uh, Ivy's on our Glade. I actually forget. What is the percentage? 86%. That's actually, that's actually pretty crazy. I didn't even realize it was that perfect. Uh, but, ooh, a legendary boss. All right. Actually, there is, there is a, I think this is an, um, what is this? A rare boss? No, this is a legendary boss as well. And is there a rare boss? I don't know. I don't actually know where any rare bosses are or if there are any rare bosses. If not, I definitely need to add those because I think the tier system goes uncommon, rare, legendary, and then ultimate. And if there's no rare bosses around, we definitely need to look into that. All right, so he is a NPC that gives a super rod, and he's a one-time thing, so you can only defeat him once. Let's go ahead and try this out. I feel like our Gallade should be pretty decent against him with Magical Leaf, although he avoided the attack again. He avoided, he avoided the attack. He avoids the attack every time. Let me try that again. All right, Hypnosis, don't avoid the attack. There we go. Okay, Magical Leaf. Wow, super effective, and that's all it did. Oh my goodness. Okay, we, there's no way we're taking out this NPC. This is insane. Wow. Okay. Uh, Dragon Rage, Dragon Claw, I guess. I don't know. We're not doing anything to this guy. He must have really high HP. Aegislash, Swords Dance. Nope, we got one shot. Okay, we don't have any Pokemon left to battle. That was rough. <laughs> we definitely need to work on our Pokemon before we try to challenge that NPC there. So I was just wandering around and I came across the daycare and definitely guys keep an eye out for a breeding episode. I think I'm going to do one sometime pretty soon and I'll just explain kind of the mechanics behind breeding, how it all works and how you guys can get started in the process in case you don't know how to breed very well because it is actually something that's really important to Pokemon that I know a lot of people kind of avoid just because it's, it's a little complicated. It's not too complicated. But it does get a little bit complicated, and there are some things that probably need explaining if you've never done it before. Let's go ahead and challenge this NPC here. Should be a fairly easy fight if we just spam out Magical Leaf because it is a water-type NPC. Uh, so we should be able to get some experience. I put my Lucky Egg on my Glade just so we can get his level up a little bit. And I think we should be able to at least gain a little bit of experience from him. Alright, let's see. 
He hasn't actually leveled up once yet. He's about to level up, though. He should level up if we can take out this Psyduck. Uh, oh, he has a Magikarp. I didn't actually know he had four Pokemon. All right, there we go. And we got one level on our Glade, a couple levels on our other Pokemon, and we actually got a Great Ball. Speaking of which, all three of these NPCs give Great Balls, and you can battle them once every 20 minutes. So if you do need some Pokeballs, Great Balls, to go ahead and catch some Pokemon out in the wild, that is a pretty good method. I actually might switch it up so they give three each. I think that'll be a little bit better and make it a little worth more worthwhile because right now only getting one one great ball doesn't really feel like it's really worth it so i think i'm going to change that give them three great balls every single time that you defeat them and then you'll be able to is this wild no it can't be that would be awesome to have a talent flame on our team but that can't be wild no it's not okay actually what biome wiki talon flame uh not talent flame what is it fletch fletchling yeah fletchling uh biome what biome stone beach okay so if we find like an extreme hills biome near the ocean we should be able to find a stone beach that would be a pretty cool pokemon to try to go after so i know i've been kind of going back and forth on if i should waste some of these rare candies on my Gallade, and i think i'm gonna go with it uh we don't need to get them all the way up to 100 but i think if we get them up to ooh, protect is that really worth it and eh, not really no i don't think but if we get him up to level like maybe 70 to 80, that means he's going to be a higher level than the majority of wild Pokemon, uh, which should help us out quite a bit. So let's go ahead and just keep spamming these out. We don't got to use all of them. Just I think another, what does stored power do? The user attacks the target with stored power. The more the user's stats are raised, the greater the moves. power. Okay, we don't have anything that raises stats, so there's no point in that. Uh, but let's get him up here. And once again, this is what I get for doing stuff at spawn. I really need to stop doing this, but it's all right. We just got to get them up to maybe 80. I think I'm going to go with 80, and we'll save the rest of our rare candies. Let's see. Two more, and there we go. All right, so we got them up to 80. That should allow us to pretty much get everything down to 1 HP with false swipe, and even if we can't get it down to 1 HP with false swipe, we should be a high enough level to where we can stay alive to use multiple false swipes. And one thing I actually wanted to make sure I bought is one of each of these power items. Now, they do cost different prices every day, anywhere from 55000 to 45000 So what we're going to do is go ahead and just buy this one for now. And then when the prices refresh, we'll go ahead and buy the ones that we can get for 45000 I want to try to spend my money wisely. I know sometimes I just kind of go out there and just buy whatever, spend way more money than I should on Pokemon, things like that. But I think we're going to do it this time around at least. We're going to spend our money wisely and we're going to wait for the prices to be as low as possible. So we're not going to waste an extra 10k just to rush and buy it now so by the time i record the next video we should have all six of the power items because i'm going to buy them off camera i'm just going to check back in the shop frequently and see if i can get him uh but yeah so achievements should be coming soon uh <laughs> i am not the problem just so you guys are aware tech dan put this sign here he is a liar he is 100 percent the problem tech dan is my developer if you're not aware uh, but yeah, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this video here if you guys did enjoy make sure to go ahead and leave a like on the video I will be uploading again tomorrow trying to upload at 3 p.m. Every single day So make sure to check back for that subscribe to the channel if you guys do want to be notified when I go ahead and upload I think there's something to do with a bell that you should click or something. I, I don't know, but either way Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time